Okay, so now we have a little example using a Delta Math problem on my iPad, uh, but it could work with any touch device. Uh, I like this because I can write on it. I mean, I can... So I went into the adding fractions portion and came up with a problem, and we can kind of solve it right here. So right now I'm just in Delta Math, called up a problem, and I want to go ahead and annotate it. Uh, so I'm going to use this square up here, the square with the up arrow in the top right corner, I can go ahead and mark up. So around here is mark up. It goes ahead and automatically makes it into a page that I can mark up. If I had to scroll, I could scroll up and down and still mark up. It would take the entire page. This one's a little shorter, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to hit the markup tool in the top right corner. I'm just going to click on that. Brought up my markup tools in the bottom. Uh, I'm going to use the highlighter, so I'm going to click on highlighter. Yellow is a good color for that. Uh, so it says to evaluate the expression, so I'm just going to go ahead and highlight that. Uh, as a fraction in simplest form, so I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to go back to the pen tool, or the pencil tool, any of those will work. It looks like it's writing in blue, and that's fine for me. Uh, so uh, I could do a little estimate if I wanted to. I know 1 20th, if I did do uh, an estimate, I could draw myself a rectangle maybe and try and break it up into 20 pieces know that that's going to be pretty small and 3 eighths well if I have another rectangle and I wanted to do it a little bit better I know that I, if I broke it up to 8 pieces it might be 8 I'm not sure but it's definitely less than half so we'll say it's this over here and so I kind of have an idea that my answer is going to be in the vicinity of maybe a half or so so I have a little estimate uh, but let's just go through the procedure. Uh, you know, we know that we have to find a common denominator, so I'm going to look for the least common denominator to make things easy for me. I look at 20 on that 120th. That doesn't work because the other one's 8. Uh, but how about 40? 40 looks like it's going to be good. So uh, let's go ahead and give that a try. So I'm going to go ahead and turn 120th into 40th so I can do that. So I know i got to multiply the top and bottom times 2. And I get 2 40s. Do the same thing for the 3 eighths. I know that i got to multiply by 5. So I multiply by 5. And I get 15 40ths. Then I can go ahead and do the problem. i got 2 40ths plus 15 40ths. And I get 17 40th. And I go ahead and work that problem out. So uh, I should be all set. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop on the screen recording. And then the students got to see me work out this problem. Now in 17 over 40, uh, we kind of uh, talked about the estimate before. 20 over 40 is a half, a little less than a half. It looks like it kind of matches up. So should be pretty good. Uh, I'm